Welcome to our exploration of Morozko, the Slavic winter spirit. We'll uncover his dual nature, cultural significance, and enduring impact on Slavic mythology and folklore. As we delve into the rich tapestry of Slavic tradition, we'll see how Morozko's character has shaped understanding of winter's role in the cycle of life. Morozko, the frost spirit, embodies winter's duality in Slavic mythology. His icy touch can bring both destruction and preservation, mirroring nature's complex balance. In Slavic culture, Morozko represents the harsh realities of winter and the potential for renewal. His character teaches valuable lessons about resilience and respect for nature's power. The crisp crunch of snow underfoot and the glittering frost on bare branches serve as reminders of Morozko's presence, his crystalline designs etching intricate patterns across windows. This duality manifests in traditional Slavic winter rituals, where communities both seek protection from and celebrate the cold season. As we explore Morozko's role in Slavic folklore, we'll see how his character is brought to life through classic tales that highlight his complex nature. The tale of the Frost serves as a cornerstone of Morozko lore, revealing the many faces of Father Frost. In this story, Morozko tests two stepdaughters in a snow-laden forest. The kind-hearted maiden responds to Morozko with respect and is rewarded, while the cruel stepsister meets a tragic fate. This narrative mirrors winter's harsh yet potentially rewarding nature, teaching resilience and humility. Morozko's actions symbolize nature's impartial justice, demonstrating how enduring adversity can lead to unexpected blessings. The tale's vivid imagery brings to life the winter landscape over which Morozko presides. This story exemplifies Morozko's significance in Slavic mythology, placing him among the major deities of the pantheon. Morozko's influence extends beyond mere frost, positioning him alongside Perun, the thunder god, and Veles, the earth god. He governs winter's essential role in cosmic balance, maintaining nature's equilibrium. In ancient Slavic rituals, people would leave offerings at the edge of forests, seeking Morozko's favor for a milder winter. This reverence reflects the deep appreciation of nature's rhythms in Slavic cosmology, influencing farming practices and spiritual beliefs. Morozko's presence is felt in the whistling of icy winds and the silent fall of snowflakes, transforming the landscape into a glittering frozen realm. While Morozko shares traits with other winter figures in global folklore, his unique characteristics set him apart in Slavic tradition. As dead Moros or Grandfather Frost, Morozko embodies nature's harsh kind duality, testing humans and rewarding virtue while punishing greed. Unlike his counterparts, Morozko's character intricately weaves winter's beauty and danger, serving as both a nurturing and harsh force. This complex portrayal reflects Slavic cultural values, emphasizing resilience and respect for nature's power. In Belarus, during the Kalyadi festival, participants don elaborate masks representing Morozko, performing traditional dances and songs that celebrate his dual nature. The festival's bonfires cast flickering shadows on the snow, creating an atmosphere that brings Morozko's presence to life. The evolution of Morozko's artistic portrayal reflects changing societal attitudes towards winter and nature itself. Ancient amulets depicted Morozko with frost-like etchings and severe expressions, while modern illustrations use softer lines and warmer colors. This transformation mirrors the shift from fear to romanticization of winter, reflecting humanity's changing relationship with the natural world. Russian artist Ivan Bilibin's early 20th century illustrations capture this evolution, portraying Morozko as a dignified figure in a frost-embroidered coat. His influence permeates Slavic aesthetics, inspiring swirling frost patterns in traditional textiles, wood carvings, and contemporary design. The intricate frost designs known as Morozko's lace exemplify this artistic legacy, bringing a touch of winter's magic into homes. This artistic revival coincided with a broader cultural resurgence of interest in Morozko and Slavic folklore. Morozko's cultural revival gained momentum with the 1964 Soviet film Morozko, which reintroduced the frost spirit to new generations. The film's visual effects and storytelling brought Morozko's character to life, showcasing his power to transform landscapes and test mortals. Modern authors have reinterpreted Morozko's character, emphasizing his duality. 
His presence in contemporary winter festivals, such as the annual Morosko Fair in Moscow, reflects enduring Slavic values. At these events, ice sculptors create intricate statues of Morosko, while storytellers share his tales around bonfires, blending traditional elements with contemporary themes. As we conclude our exploration, we see how Morosko's enduring legacy continues to shape Slavic culture and identity. Morosko's impact on Slavic culture transcends ancient tales embodying timeless wisdom and values. His dual nature mirrors winter's complexity and teaches moral lessons that resonate across generations. Through Morosko's stories, we learn about humility, resilience, and the rewards of virtuous behavior. As a key figure in Slavic mythology, Morosko exemplifies the connection between natural forces and human morality, offering insights into Slavic cultural heritage. His influence continues to shape Slavic identity and environmental consciousness, reminding us of mythology's power to connect us with nature and cultural roots. In the face of changing climates and cultural landscapes, Morosko remains a symbol of winter's eternal cycle and the enduring spirit of Slavic tradition 